Hello everyone, this is me Satya here and I'm back with another bonus love read series. This time I will be doing this reading for five signs out there. So I have done two signs already, Pisces and Libra. This is going to be for the sign of uh, Scorpio. So let's see whoever it is that you're dealing with and you want to know uh, maybe if you are you know maybe you have broken up maybe you are in no communication maybe you are in separation maybe you are still with this person but you don't know if they still love you or if they still have feelings for you or know then this reading is definitely for you so the question gonna be in this reading is do they still have feelings for you yes or no we will also tap into their messages for you as well so stay tuned and we will take oracle card as well so yeah, before I dive into the reading, let me remind you, it's a general reading, it may, it may not resonate with everyone out there, so always pick the messages which are resonating and leave the rest. For personal readings, you can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. You can also follow me on Instagram where I do upload daily readings. So yeah, you can also follow, uh, you know, I have already said that, oh my god, okay, I was about to repeat that, but anyways, yep. So let's see, Scorpions, do they wish to be with you do they have feelings for you do they love you or have they moved on so let's find that out whoever it is that you want to know about do they still have feelings emotions love for you let's find out let's dive into the reading ace of wands eight of pentacles knight of cups five of wands They are trying to manifest you back. They might not be talking to you right now, but they are trying to manifest you back. And it's not an easy task to do so. I do see like, you know, whoever it is that you are asking about, whoever it is that you have on your mind, you wonder like, you know, if they still love you, miss your emotions, you know, or have emotions for you, they do love you a lot. They do feel that you are their soulmate. They are working towards it silently, to make it happen with you they are taking mental action no physical action is being taken from this person whoever it is they really want to manifest a new beginning with you which is not just one thing they want love commitment happiness fulfillment with you they want to have a proper bond with you where they do have friendship love you know physical connection everything they want a serious bond with you that lasts for a lifetime they are silently working towards it. You might feel like, you know, this person is not interested in you anymore and maybe they have moved on. You do feel that maybe this person is like, you know, maybe dating another person, but they are not. They might have stopped reaching out to you. They might have stopped talking to you. You, They might have stopped, you know, um, telling you that, you know, not talking to you bother them now. Um, they, they have done all they could to be with you nothing worked with them they started feeling pressure off it i feel like you know they started acting a weird way because they felt a lot of stress being with you i do see them not in communication with you they have kind of you know stopped doing things that they used to do just to start manifesting it um but yes like i said they do see you as their soulmate so they do they do want to manifest you as their life partner so they do obviously have love, emotions, and everything for you. But yes, you might not see coming from them. You might not see them expressing it at all. Like, you know, this person, whoever it is that you're dealing with, whoever it is that you're asking about, they might have told you it's over between us. But in actuality, deep down, they are trying to manifest you. On the deck, <laughs> the sun, they do have love. They, they cannot forget you. They cannot um you are their happiness sunshine everything that they can think of you are their wish fulfillment you are the one that they always wanted to have their future with so how can they have no feelings for you that's not possible let's see more cards here they are just trying to you know shoo away the negativity in this connection that maybe has affected the connection so bad uh let's see Maybe you were not expressing your, you know, interest in them or the connection or they had to do this, whatever they are doing right now. You left them no option but to hold themselves back. 
and now which maybe is confusing you because you feel like you know you don't know if they have moved on you find yourself in a situation you feel like you know maybe they have moved on maybe they have another person in their life because they are not saying much they are hiding their emotions yeah they, they have become you basically is what i'm picking up but yes they do have the emotions there they they it's more like you know they used to say it now they are just like you know keeping it to themselves just the way you used to uh maybe in this connection with them let's see more cards here they are trying to fight their fears doubts around the connection as well they are trying to hold themselves back they are not trying to uh you know do anything that they used to do just to get additional you know different result in the situation they at times feel like you know coming forward but then they they choose to hold their emotions just like you do for them they are trying to work on themselves right now but yes they do have feelings love emotions for you they don't like being away from you because they do have strong deep emotions love for you that you cannot even imagine how deeply this person loves you but at the same time they have to hold themselves back now let's uh uh you know use the oracle card first and then we're going to tap into the messages coming from your person as well so stay tuned let's see what the oracle has to add to the reading for you guys let's see this card uh this deck is hard to shuffle but yeah emotions are a natural and necessary part of life and they can also distort your perception and cloud your vision in order to see things clearly you must let go of resentment i feel like you know your person being uh being with you or staying close to you might have been like you know clouding them or with fears or something so they choose to you know stay away and to manifest the connection the way they want instead of like you know staying with you so that's what i'm picking up very strongly here um let's see now what do they secretly want you to know let's see their secret messages for you whatever it is that you are asking about dealing with let's see what do they secretly want you to know <sighs> ten of pentacles they are trying to be stable manifesting you they are trying to visualize themselves in their future they are trying to envision their future with you uh how they would want to be with you you know living a happy family life where your fa where, where your family is their family where your parents are their parents where they have kids with you they are trying to envision all of it and they really want you to know that they do envision themselves having kids with you as well Let's see more cards here. They are trying to manifest that home life with you. That's very evident. Whoever it is that you are asking about, whoever it is that you are dealing with, they are manifesting a connection with you and they love you so much. You are their soulmate and they have no doubt around it. You know, they, they really believe in that. They are trying to stay stable emotionally, mentally, physically so they could manifest this connection the way they find it easy. They might have like, you know, pers you know, personally like, you know, pulled or, you know, purposely pulled themselves away from you for, for the same reason. Because they felt like, you know, staying with you was getting hard for them to manifest it. Now, detachment could have been their, you know, way of dealing with it. So, yeah. But yes, they do have love, emotions, feelings for you more than you can even think. So, yeah. That's pretty much it coming up for you for this reading. If the reading resonated with you, do like, subscribe, and share. If you're willing to get a personal reading, you can always reach out to me for that on my email ID in the description box. Till I do the next reading for you guys. Take care. Bye-bye.